This is Mary Kay with Country Music Matters, and we welcome Daryl Morley to In Cahoots in Fullerton. Hi, Daryl. How are you doing, sweetie? Fine, how are you? Good, long time no see. Long time no see. Last time we met up in December, you talked about a lot of changes going on and new music and stuff. Have you started to see rewards from all these changes? Uh, yeah. Um, I think the it's definitely affected the second half of this year. You know, we put a little single out to kind of got everybody's attention with a song that uh, came out of the whole Fiji experience. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody started asking questions, so now we planned on having this Greatest Hits package out this fall, but just recently when we, uh, we kind of structured a new uh, distribution deal, and when we did that, they said, man, let's let's don't try to rush this thing up. You know, if we started right now, it'd be a month before we had this and that, and then we'd be pushing it to get it out by Christmas. And I said, no, I don't care anything about rushing it. I said, you know, if it's first first quarter next year is good enough for me. And so that one will be coming then. And I just think the mere fact that we had a little action on the radio and they know that, that we're in the studio. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this new record in Muscle Soul, though. Yeah, I remember you talked about that. And, uh, so I think it's, you know, buyers kind of took note of that and um, of course we're on a big acoustic run right now. I've been out here for almost 10 days. Uh, but we've been working quite a bit with the full band and I think next year's going to be a good year. Well, what is your anticipation like coming into a venue you've never been to? What do you kind of look for? Or we don't. You don't care? We don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. <laughs> we look for a stool and a place to plug in. There you go. There you <laughs> we go. came earlier and, and sound checked and it was a... Uh, we were having a little trouble on the front end with some uh, frequencies, and just not knowing the room, and uh, the uh, the engineer finally got it dialed in and it sounded fine. And go. So we should be fine. Well, we're happy you're here. This is oh, a, yeah. a nice little venue, and it's close to home. Yeah. yeah. Do you not far away, huh? No, no, no. There is bar. We're like <laughs> we're like close. That's so great. this is great. So um, this uh, October eighth, fifteenth annual Tennessee River Run. Yeah. You've got a great lineup. We do. Randy Hauser, Kelly Pickford. Yep, we got a great lineup, Chuck and, and we've got an artist, James Robert Webb. We've got a He's ton really of, of people that are you know it kind of goes back and forth between stages, and we've got a ton of ton of acts uh, from our local area, and you know uh, mm -hmm. the guy you mentioned, and, and other people uh, who are performing this year. It's just going to be like grand slam music from the time mm -hmm. it starts till it's over. It's going to be really cool. I. Uh, I would be so wiped out going into this, and it always, it's always that way, but uh, we've, we've been out here, like I said, for almost two weeks, and uh, so I'll go back and wash clothes and head straight to Savannah, and it'll start on Tuesday night, and I got something every day and every night that week, so. Now how does, how does it go with the process of getting acts? Do you guys reach out? Do they say, hey, you know, can we be part of this? I reach out to them most of the time. I mean, I, I, there's times when people contact us because younger artists would like to get on the, mm -hmm. the bill because it has become kind of a, a mainstay thing in, in my part of the country and um, I look to have pretty uh, pretty good success with the show uh, in downtown Savannah this year. We, we had our boat poker run up at Pickwick uh, which is 12 miles away uh, just south of Savannah uh, where I grew up um, about what a month and a half, was it, it was the middle of August okay. this year. And it, uh, I think we went over what we raised last year, which was a little over 110,000. So it's uh, we're having a really good fundraising year. This uh, the final songwriters event will be Friday night before the concert in Savannah. And if we do 30 grand, we'll we've gone well over 100,000 with those events this year. So we're going to be we're going to be pushing three 350,000 on the year without uh, even count some of the donations corporate wise. So what's going on the rest of the year and the next year other than new music and USO stuff coming up? We were supposed to leave uh, early November for uh, Iraq to do this sort of a reunion tour and uh, they pulled the funding on it. It's just such a mess out there right now. I don't think there will be anybody yeah. going in or out. And uh, <clears throat> We've already been overseas a couple times this year. We went to Honduras early in the year. Yeah. And then we went to Korea and entertained those guys uh, during the 4th of July, which is amazing. And uh, so we just keep doing as much of that as, as we can get. And uh, I don't know, it, it feeds something inside that, that we've, we've just become addicted to it. We love to take care of our troops and they really appreciate our uh, dedication to them. So uh, it's good work. It's some of the best stuff we do. Yeah. 
Well, I know we got to get you going on stage here. I appreciate your time. I'm just hanging. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for hanging with us. Daryl Worley with Country Music Matters.